No, I, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? It's on YouTube tomorrow. I come from the, the setting of the minimum rate because I do a lot of union work creatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a, there's a lot of instigation of creating contracts and setting minimum mm, rates. Yeah, so yeah. businesses are incentivized to pay a minimum rate and yet I know a lot of IT creatives who say yeah. well, that's wrong, they shouldn't have unions because you're setting a minimum rate, no one's ever going to pay the minimum. Yeah, so as yeah, creatives, yeah. what do we do? Do we stand up and say no, we're about <coughs> this and don't have a minimum wage? Or do you have a minimum wage to protect the people who are being exploited? I mean, the short answer is I haven't got that far in my thinking to, 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 to answer that. Um, but it, they, they are, uh, give her a lollipop, they're very good questions. Yeah. <laughs> that was a chocolate question, Matthew. <laughs> um, I think it's, important, it's important to raise the question. I think it's important to raise the questions. That's pretty much all I can do. I think it's to individuals to, to, to find their own route, you know, migrate their own route through this. And, but it doesn't have to be the same answer on every day. You can have one answer for Monday and another answer for Tuesday. You know, have a portfolio career where you perhaps a profit maximizer for half the week and not for the other half of the week. But there are answers you have to keep talking about. Sure, yeah, sure, the fact sure. The you're aware of that today is part of it. Yeah. As long as you're aware that someone's being screwed out. The last council doesn't listen. The last council is a beast that's got too big for itself. It's a common accountant. Don't go to the arts. What's the arts council? I used to get, when I used to use the Broadway bar as my office, I used to get paid in beer because people would come and say, Jim, I'll buy you a drink, just tell me how to fill this application form in for the Arts Council. Okay, nobody asks me anymore, so I don't get my beer, I have to pay for my own beer. Now. <laughs> 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 It, is, it sounds. I really would enjoy this book. I, I actually sort of read it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, that's quite an achievement. There must be something to it. Uh, I, I think it's pitched at a fantastic level. It's, it's obviously quite a piece of work, but um, it, it's, it's dumbed down so that I can understand it. And um, the, there's some really quite powerful stuff in it. Now, those who know me, I'm quite excitable. I can find a cathartic experience from buying a packet of cheese and onion and realising the salt and vinegar by accident, you know, that, that somehow changed my life a little bit. But um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of parallels between <coughs> where businesses are going and, and a lot of the people they, we work with have sort of seen their elbows in this. So um, let's, let's show our appreciation in the... Uh, I know it's probably had a very hard day, but looking at that there is uh, Tim Miller from Emnet who, who came along and said a few words last time. Um, Tim, um, if you do want any help with getting a content management system on your site and one or two other bits of functionality, you can go through it last time. There's lots of new people here. Um, so, for certain kinds of businesses in the right circumstances, there is some assistance from uh, Mnet to, to help sort of move your website to the next level. The more intriguing thing that I know Tim has a little bit of contact with is if you think that your you know your business you have a fantastic idea that is possibly worth kind of venture capital and um, you know, a fantastic program with dragons and all that kind of stuff. Well, Tim at least understands how that kind of business works. And there is a sort of uh, a East Midlands based equivalent where you can go and sort of pitch an idea. You I understand is sort of how they go Say again? I've done the Dragon's Den of Fire City a couple of weeks ago. You did? It's me and my partner. How did you get on? Well, we're going to do another one. Yeah. <laughs> did you last more than 30 seconds? Yeah, probably. It's not like that, you get about 10 minutes um, to make your pitch, and there's about six people making the pitch, and afterwards, you sit and wait for them to come in. Offer your money and it doesn't right. happen, you have to actually get out there. And are they as rude as they are on that program? <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Oh. You're lucky you to sit to you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the only other thing is that last time there was, uh, was, was quite a few follow up questions from uh, Steve Neal on the search engine optimization stuff, insight into Google. Uh, he's uh, got a uh, ill health in the family, so he can't be here tonight. But, 
uh, that point in search search form, there is the uh, Uber icon of search engine optimization, Gavin Walker, who is going to be delivering uh, an SEO course, a bit of a plug here, um, an extra SEO course is going to be part of this new framework of courses, which is a three-day app that we're going to be doing. We're still waiting for uh, official clearance from Demonte to actually announce the date, but we're going to deliver it, hopefully, uh, I'm looking for doing it in April. Sometime in April, April. Uh, mid-April we're going to kick that one off. And also we're going to be kicking off with uh, a course that I'm going to be on, definitely, which is Second Life through uh, CJ Lee Makeup. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? How you just take much to impress these boys. <laughs> so, um, fantastic! Great to see you all. Uh, please feel free to hang around a drink, uh, have a drink, and uh, um, I've got a tenner with me that my missus gave me. So, um, I've got probably three or four drinks in me. So, first to ask, trying to get one. Uh, great to see you all again, and uh, have a look at this community and. And um, get signed up for the next one because there's going to be some kind of uh, uh, freebies in it. But in fact, we've got such a big budget, they're having trouble spending it. Even the ribeye steak isn't expensive enough for how much we've got. We're going to throw it all on champagne. It sounds like we have to be sending it in your direction. <laughs> it's one sort of, actually, it's the same thing. It's the very, very last of our European social fund money. Well, I've had copies of the book. Exactly. Well, I think we're better used to it. But We've had 10 years of ESF money, and this is uh, March is now the end of it. Tim's not doing away there. You've gone to Europe for yours now, haven't you? That's right. Yeah. Uh, so we've gone better connected. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, uh, it's a new direction for us as well, as one of the